a man that's really trying to get to it, like how does he balance that when it comes to his marriage and it comes to his kid? Because even when we talk about the whole Cam Newton, one of the conversations that was coming up is that what's the difference between a, a man that's working a nine to five and a bunch of overtime and he's not there with the kids? Like, what's the difference? And somebody highlighted, well, it's when he could, when he does come home, he's coming to one house where all the kids are in one house versus the kids being spread it out. And it makes it even more impossible. And then uh, the other argument was that it's a choice, right? So if a, a man chooses to get into his bag, into his career, is that something that should be done before he decides to have kids? Or like, how does, how does a man balance the career, his purpose when it comes to marriage? Well, I can't speak for men, but... I always thought that a man is supposed to pursue his purpose first and then go find the one like late, you know, do what, build all, put everything together and then go find his partner and bring them back just from books that I've read. But I thought that I'm just. I, I would say, I would say generally, yes, absolutely. That's, that's the case. Um, I, I think as well, um, if the, if the man is with the right woman, then they will understand that pursuing that journey of, of them on their purpose, following their purpose. So that that'll make it easier on the man uh, compared to a woman that doesn't understand that. And they're they're more they're in more need and and and, and they have that demand to to have more of the man to pull him away from his purpose. And then, of course, you know, that that can get sticky on its own. So it's uh, it's one of those deals, in my opinion, that um, that you're ever in attempt to balance, because at each stage, at every stage in a man's life, um, that purpose may change or it may look differently, you know, so on and so forth. So within that relationship, uh, both parties have to be on the same page to understand that in order for it to have the longevity. Hmm. Well, I was going to say, I think sometimes what happens is that people misconfuse purpose with career. Those are two different things. So when you're investing all of this time and energy in your career, your career is not your purpose. It is what, how is your career leading you to your purpose? And if you're getting married and having a family, your purpose is your family. At that point, you that you have to prioritize that. So you you can't neglect your family while pursuing a purpose that's outside of your family, right? So um, the 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 part of it is is that if he has the the man and woman have had a discussion about what their purpose is going to be, um, both of them should be working in the same direction to pursue that that purpose right mm -hmm. um and the only way to do that is to include her in that but what happens is you can see what people prioritize based on where they spend their money and where they spend their time so mm -hmm. if you're saying that your family is your priority don't spend all your time at work because now you're neglecting your family right but there definitely has to be a balance. And from the woman's side, if he, this job or career is setting him up for the bigger purpose, then the question is, how do we balance this? So both of you know your family is getting what they need from you while you're pursuing the bigger goal for the family. And I don't think those are the conversations that are talked about. Well, mistaken, I'll, I'll challenge that. And I agree with what you said, but I'll challenge that and say um, often a man that that's no longer in his purpose, his value in his family and also his health is non-existent. It is it it, it devout is. Is not as impactful, because if if a man, if a grown ass man doesn't know what his purpose is and he relinquished all of that then that's when most men end up checking out and self-deleting themselves because Can you it's now that? i'm not really sure if i understand what, what what you're saying in regards to what i said so you said um 
you said the difference in the purpose in the career. So so let's say uh, this he's let's say this is an average guy. Right. And his purpose uh, is to provide for his family. And the only way that he can provide for his family is by working 12 hour shifts with overtime clocking 15 hours. You know, he come home, sleep, shower, spend whatever little time with the kids and head back out. If if he gets fired and he no longer can provide in which for him, his purpose is providing for his family, then that's a that could be a, a quick slope of a decline uh, in in his mental health and so on and so forth. Because now because because now he can't provide for his kids or there's even situations where uh where the dad will come home and he has no relationship with the kids. So now he can't even, he can't even click with them. So now that's something else for him to struggle with. So I, I, I agree with what you're saying, but I, I think that it, that it varies from situation to situation, of course, as with all things, but I think that is. Um, well, just to I, kind of to it. piggyback off of what you were saying a little bit, and I think we've had this conversation before um, as well in regards to defining, only defining um, provision as money, right? So I think that that's part of the problem too. We talked about that before and that when men are talking about provision, and I can't just say men because I think as women, we have reinforced that too um, um, as a society. Yeah. Um, that that provision only means money just because based on the way society was previously. But now fast forward, um, your family, your wife, though the only thing that they need as provision is not just money. When you look at what it is that they need in terms of provision, like emotional, mental, all of those kind of things, that the financial part uh, in terms of what you need on a daily basis is kind of at the bottom of the totem pole. I'm not mm -hmm. saying that it's not important. Don't don't like try to, you know, re uh, take my words and misinterpret what I'm saying. Finances are important. You got to pay bills. You got to, you know, you just need money to deal with things in day-to-day life, right? Food, clothing, shelter, at least for your basic needs, right? But what I'm saying is when that only becomes the sole purpose of what you think provision is as a as a father and as a husband that's where a lot of times your relationships with your kids and your wife end up you know not being the best situation kind of like what you say you always away from home so the kids relationship with you is 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 strained because you really don't have the time for them right or have the time for your wife so you know, you, you, you need that interaction in order to maintain a connection with your family and, you know, with your wife and your kids. So you, so maybe Monday through Friday you work in, but Saturday, this is the time that I have to commit. Even if I'm tired, I have to prioritize my family and give them that time. 